Good evening people. Welcome to our today's tutorial of ArcGIS. In our today's tutorial, we will be discussing about semi-automatic digitization. You already know about digitization. Digitization is uh, something where you have a raster image of a place. This is basically a map and then you convert it into a vector segment, the lines and those polygons, then you convert it to uh, vector file. This is actually digitization. More about this you can Google or you can see our previous video. Okay, so in this tutor tutorial, we will be showing you how to digitize a map quite automatically, but not fully automatically because there will be some manual job to be done. So at first we will be converting our image then we will be cleaning up the raster image and then we will digitize it okay so let's start with the blank map here and then i'll be needing my file which i want to rasterize sorry digitize okay so in my folder I have a file named chotoberide.jpg we will be converting this in jpg file but don't add this jpg file directly into your system rather than double click on this and it, then you can see there are three different bands select any of the band anyone will do and then add this click OK OK now you have a band uh, you have an image which is of only one band because out of three bands you only selected one then in order to go further we have to convert our image into another format this is how you convert image select imagine image this is mandatory for our this project then rename this file to something like this okay that will do then a very important thing no data as you must clear it remember clearing it and keeping it zero is very different in here keeping it zero is not clearing remember to just clear it and keep it blank and there are some other things which we don't need to know about right now and then save your file yes i would like to add my layer as you have an image file here now you don't need the previous file so better to remove it okay we have removed the previous file in this project remember to always keep backup of your data because the image will be processing will be processing over it so anytime if you accidentally save it or save it to the default location then it will overwrite your image you don't want to do that okay now right click on this go to properties and then go to symbology and there you can see there is a thing called classified go to classified classify this into only two part in two classes and then go to display you use bilinear interpolation and then you press ok so now you are ready to convert your raster into a vector file okay now you have your image ready now we will be starting our editing as you know already to edit something you need to start editing so go to editor and press start editing which will start your editing but as you can see there is no editable layers my mistake so go to arc catalog 
go to your folder like that is folder and then you create a new shape file so the thing about this you can you really want polygons out of this image but you will be taking lines because if the lines are intersecting you can easily convert this into polygons at no time so it's better to have lines so we'll be selecting polyline and then we don't have a coordinate system right now so that's okay then point. okay now if you start editing you can do this because now you have an editable layer as you have your editing on now remember one thing always go to your customize and toolbars select R scan and there is some extensions like it's taking up a time there are our things always check this on so that you have all this extension available to you okay so now you need to have some toolbar here this is raster cleanup toolbar actually what is the name of this tool toolbars you have your editor you have your art scan on obviously and you have raster painting on and nothing else right now and also keep your advanced editing on okay then when you have then go to your uh, vectorization and you can show preview of your image how it will look if you digitize it right now so after automatic digitization you can see how good your image will look as you can see all the lines here has been converted to polygons even the numbers in here these are uh, bangla numbers so bangla numbers these are also converted into polygons lines actually at this moment we have just lines okay but we don't want to do that right now because cleaning up our raster file is pretty much easier than the cleaning up this entire vector files so let's undo this okay no we can't undo so go to p lines attribute table sorry we have not saved it yet we are just having a preview okay i am unchecking show preview now we have to clean up this raster getting rid of these lines in here and the letters inside it okay when you have your vectorization raster cleanup then go to raster painting toolbar if you have raster painting toolbar then you will have this thing in here you will come up with this and to you can see these are unactivated inactivated and if you want to activate this then start cleanup when you have click start cleanup and it has started successfully then you can see these options are available to you right now click the last one in here which is magic erase okay as the name says it this is actually magic <coughs> select some portion of it and as you can see the inside things are removed so the most important thing about magic erase is magic erase deletes uh, only discrete future features suppose in this place if we select this area the stuff which are which has ended started in this area and in also ended in this area these objects will be removed as you can see there were some black dots which were removed but as you can see it has deleted many numbers but not this one because these numbers is connected with the line okay so 
let me show you something if you click all of this as you can see the whole thing is removed because you know already why because inside the whole thing everything is discrete no, nothing was connected outside the box okay then let's check again okay okay we can't do it anymore for some reason okay now you go to go in depth and as you see these are not selected because you know these are connected with the main lines and main lines all of them are connected with each other and there is also some process at this case you have to remove it manually by how go to here and choose erase option and then disconnect this with the mother line as you can see as you have disconnected this if you use magic erase now yes those things which was disconnected are removed now okay. there are also one another way where you can delete this which is so there is an, another way which is go to cell selection and press select connected cell so there is a option which is enter total area which can be ranged anything i don't know the full extent uh, let's try with 200 and then press ok as you can see nothing has been selected in here and if you make it 400 also nothing is selected but if we had those options like those raster images from before okay as you can see my those little numbers are back now if you select connected cells it has selected all of them why because this is another procedure of selecting those disconnected discrete features okay now go to raster cleaner and press erase selected cells which will select your cells if you raise up the value and also make it down then the amount of cells selected will also change okay now that's pretty much it to remove the unnecessary portions and now we will generate the preview again okay show preview it's creating a file as you can see now this is a pretty much accurate vector shape file then press generate features and select the lines the shape file you created and then press ok now you have this data saved in your p lines before this it was just showing you nothing was selected now you can see you can select a feature and you can delete it okay i am hiding my main image okay So this is the lines I needed. So we have a thing automatic deletion pretty much completed, but there is something to show. Go to vectorization and then go to vectorization settings, and there you will find some settings which will be needed. Go to styles, where you will be find some thing done for you. Like uh, to my case. If this can be parcels or this can be polygons okay I am selecting default style of polygons default style will pretty much correct this values and change it to the default but as you can see I can describe intersection solution you can 
keep it geometrical maximum line width how much the maximum line width will be noise level always keep it 65 because that's the default level and there is something which is gap closure tolerance this is very important this is if you have uh, data like this there are some gaps you can see and this gap should be closed if I if I correctly remember so then you can set a value for gap closer like if you keep it 10 and there is a fan angle the fan angle is if this line here how much radius it will search for the line okay let's say it will search for 90 degree that means 45 to both sides and then apply we have a pv option okay nothing is doing let's make it 50 and then apply okay As you can see, this close this area has been closed. It has defined a boundary, and this is not showing because I have not saved it. Okay, then you can close it, and so that's how you digitize a file. And you have done this for and then you generate features but before generating features delete your previous things sorry delete the previous file and then generate features okay you have your gap closed right now and then delete the unnecessary portions we can see these gaps are closed because we used some settings okay this is pretty much it but as you remember we have done this layer in lines we have to convert it to polygons so in order to do so go to our toolbox and then go to data management tools then go to features and under features option the you will find feature to polygon okay use this feature to polygon option as input feature set p lines and select the folder your desired folder and okay new polygon file save uh, no tolerance needed okay it's unknown then just press ok as you see it has completed and it has showing showing the preview as you can see now if we uncheck all my layers just uh, keep it keep only this one open this road says blank because this place is not intercepted the lines here are discrete and you can see these lines has been somehow deleted so this is a actually error check and do this error check because this is very much necessary okay this is all today in our next tutorial we will show you something